yeah, I mean, the sparring was, uh, it was tough for me. He, uh, he's a strong guy, he hits hard. You know, he's extremely durable to the head. Like, I, I hit that guy with everything I had and he, he hit me right back. So it was great back and forth sparring. And I remember uh, actually after the sparring thinking to myself, damn, you know, me and that guy would be a hell of a fight if we were in the same weight division. The fans are get to see uh, Zemig. His nickname is Attack. Um, you know, he's Eastern European. This is all he's got to fight for, right? He's a bare knuckle fighter. He's an absolute brawler. He is coming to upset that night. Not my first choice. 30, 40 pound difference. He's coming for blood. Riziki's gonna be there trying to give blood. You can expect fireworks. Let's go! This time it's personal. It's time to reap what you sow. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. This is the end of the road. We got some unfinished business. Ryan Rozik ile dövüşeceğimi öğrendiğimde çok sevindim. Çünkü onunla daha önce bir sparring antrenmanı yaptığımda yani çok güçlü olduğu için biraz yani benim tekniğime yakın bir dövüşçü ve çok güçlü bir boksör. Onunla dövüşeceğim için yani iyi hazırlandım ve Kazanırım çok güçlü bir boksör ve ben de kendimi e, zayıf hissetmiyorum. Ben de zayıf bir boksör değilim. Çok iyi bir boksörlerle çalıştım. Çok iyi derecelerim var ve umarım bu maçı kazanırım. I don't think this is the kind of guy that I'm going to get with one shot. I think that this is going to take rounds to break him down, you know, and then there's always the possibility that he can catch me and knock me out with a big shot because it's, it's a heavyweight fight and I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not even supposed to be a cruiserweight, let alone a heavyweight. And I walk around, you know, smaller than most light heavyweights. So, you know, yeah, that fight's going to have lots of challenges, but, you know, nothing we're not used to. Let's go.